everyone, this is Jen Avery. I am here representing the Front Royal Women's Resource Center. And today we have another episode of Center Stage. My guest today is Mary Cook. And we are currently standing in the Art Nest. Is that right? The Art Nest. And the Art Nest is home base for Microwave Project. She is going to tell you a little bit more about her fantastic project and her awesome little studio. And watch as she's talking. Her key word is going to be accessibility. I think what she's doing is fantastic. Mary, are you ready to take center stage? Absolutely. All right, here we go, guys. Hi, my name is Mary Cook. I am the owner and founder of Microwave Project. And welcome to my studio. This is the Art Nest. So what is the Microwave Project? The Microwave Project um, is an organization that I've put together to, um, with the mission of creating small ways of change in the community through art. Um, the Art Nest happens to be my personal art studio and in this space I'm creating my own artwork. I have a printmaking press here so I do printmaking and I offer lessons as well. Um, private lessons, group workshops like I said. Um, and the whole goal is to make art as accessible as I can to as many people as I can. So the goal of Microwave Project is to make art happen, wherever that is. Why did I create Microwave Project? Microwave Project, believe it or not, started 10 years ago in October, just last month. I founded the, um, pro the business with my, one of my best friends, um, Alice and Nance when we lived in Alexandria, Virginia, and I worked at the Torpedo Factory Art Center. Um, I was one of the gallery directors there. And we saw a need in the community to educate um, the public on different types of art, specifically site-specific installation art. And so we brought art out into the community through alternative venues, such as a shipping container at Yards Park, or a shopping center in West Virginia, or a freight elevator for the Cherry Blossom Festival. So we tried a lot of different things. But why am I trying to do this? Why is that so important for me to make art accessible? It's actually started when I was in college. Um, and I went to a university in West Virginia, and we went on a big field trip to New York City to see all the museums and the galleries. And I couldn't help but feeling so awkward when I went into these fancy white wall galleries and museums because I felt like I didn't belong. And so that stuck with me. And it stuck with me through my entire career because I saw it when I worked in galleries. People feel intimidated when they come in. And so how can I change that? How can I um, create this bridge to make people feel more comfortable? Because it's important. And fast forward to today, now I left Microwave Project, went on life support for a little bit so that I could be a mom and develop my own family out here. Um, and working as a teacher at Mountain Laurel Montessori School, I saw this process-based um, art that I was teaching and how it affected children in such a positive way. Because I combine art and play. So I create these art play experiences for kids. And I thought, ah, I want to do this, but it needs to be for more children. It can't just be for kids in a private school setting. It needs to be out into the community because these kids need it. And they especially need it as after school programs because, and especially now, here we are in pandemic land, and these children are tucked away at home and they need to play and they need to make art and it's an escape for them. And so I wanted to create this opportunity where I could do that and Front Royal Women's Resource Center. Um, I applied for their Dare to Dream grant and I won. <laughs> and so it has allowed me to further my dream of trying to make art as accessible as I can. And I did that through creating 50 art camp and a bag kits, which includes six workshops in one bag. And I made 50 of those and I donated them to the community through the Warren County Parks and Recreation. So 50 kids managed to get a free art camp that they were able to do at home during the, the lockdown. So um, the things that we offer here at the Microwave Project, um, private lessons, we offer um, workshops, art play workshops for kids, um, art parties or private art workshops if you're still in your quarantine bubble and you have someone that you want to to work with, I can organize a private workshop for you. I can come to you, you can come here. 
I do a series of pop-up workshops as well that's coming up for the holiday season. I'm going to be working with I Want Candy in town as well as C&C Ice Cream. So look for me there. December 12th, I'll be doing one with I Want Candy, a holiday pop-up where you're going to get to create your own little candy world. Um, and also, um, the date's to be determined with CNC, so you'll just have to check back on my Facebook or also my website at microwaveproject.org. Um, I also offer art kits because I know that there are some people that still feel a little um, hesitant to come out in public. So I offer basically my art play workshops or my process-based workshops in a kit. So I can develop that for you and get it to you and then you can work on it at home. You can even um, contact me so that I can walk you through it if there's something that you don't understand. Um, everything is pretty much one flat price. It's $20 an hour per child, period. Art kits, $20 an hour. So um, everything is, the point is to make it affordable so that it's accessible to as many people as I can. Because I am trying to make mar making art happen out in the public um, as best as I can, especially in these times that we're living in. Um, also, if you go on my website at microwaveproject.com, you can, that's where you can order the kits. You can um, book a class. Um, you can even email me if you want to sign up for a private lesson. I offer like printmaking lessons and painting and really anything that you're interested in, I can pretty much do that because I have a background in painting and printmaking. Um, yeah. Thank you. Well, oh my goodness, I have loved getting to know Mary and learning about what she offers to our community. I am definitely gonna check out what she has going on, on Main Street especially. I think as some people know, I do have an artsy craftsy daughter and I think that private lessons even might be a fantastic thing for Shiloh. Check her out, visit her on Facebook and definitely visit her websites. Get out there on Main Street everybody, especially this holiday season. I think we're gonna have some fantastic um, happenings out there and these pop-ups pop are just perfect. Till next time, thanks for checking in with Center State.